Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome. This is Boardroom to Bounce House and my name is Tana. And in today's video, I am giving you some stocking stuffer ideas and I am focusing on the toddler age group in this video. I am a toddler mom. I have a one year old who's almost two, turned two in a couple months, and I have a three and a half year old. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you some items and also talking about some items that might make good toddler gifts. A few of these are things that I actually got my toddlers. So let's jump right into the video and start with these items. So the first suggestion that I have when it comes to stocking stuffers is to make them useful things. There is nothing worse than having a bunch of money spent on items that are not gonna be used or are just gonna end up in a junk drawer or a trash can, something like that. So I always try to gear towards things that are usable and one of the things that my kids absolutely love is books. Books can be a little tough because sometimes they don't fit in a stocking, but you can often find books that are the right size. So something like this, which I found at Home Goods for $5.99, which is a Christmas book that I'm sure they're gonna love because they love the non-Christmas version of this book. Um, this wouldn't really fit in a stocking, but something like this little uh, pookie book, which is a lot smaller and thinner, is likely going to fit in a stocking. So I always just say, go head out to your local TJ Maxx, Marple, Marshalls, Target, Dollar Store, Walmart, and look in the book section and try to find those books that are a bit more narrow that would fit, but are still gonna be books that your kids would actually enjoy reading. Here's another book that would likely fit because it is not that fat and it's a Daniel Tiger story. They love Daniel Tiger. So the next thing that I always, always put in my kids' stockings is things that they grow out of from year to year and things that are gonna be need to, needed to be replaced because they just get worn and weathered. So a good example of that is underwear. So if your kids are old enough that they're wearing underwear, uh, definitely you can find it at all those stores that I mentioned earlier. I got this one on clearance, it's Paw Patrol. I got this one, this is uh, Thomas the Train. I actually take these out of the packages and I use this to fill the stocking, shove it down in the toe, kind of fill up the space in between the little gifts and trinkets that you're putting in their stocking. Why is it that no matter how much laundry you do, there is always a sock or two without a mate? It always happens. Baby socks, toddler socks, they're always getting lost. So I would say socks is another great thing to grab. Gloves is another good example if you live in a cold environment. Gloves, gloves, gloves. They need them all day. Put them in their backpack, put them in their extra bags, stick them in the car, shove them in their coat. Just get the cheap ones. I have another video coming out soon where I show you some stocking stuffer things that I grabbed at the Dollar Tree and I grabbed gloves for just a dollar a two pack, so 50 cents, total score. The next suggestion I have for you is crafts. Kids love crafts, they blow through crafts, things like crayons, things like small coloring books, things that are portable that you can bring in the car. Those are all gonna make really, really good stocking stuffers. I love to grab these little mess-free coloring book pages at either you know Marshalls, Home Goods, TJ Maxx, or Target. If you go to the Target dollar spot section, you can find the little play packs for just a dollar, and those are really ideal because they're small, they're portable, they're cheap, and they're gonna get used. So this is just an example here. I paid $3.99 for this at Marshall's and this one is specifically um, Elf on the Shelf, which is really cute, but they had all different ones at the store. They also had this Toy Story one for $3.99. So let's talk a little bit more about things that they'll probably be really excited about. Um, this is technically also a craft, so I suppose you could check two boxes with this, but I found this a little Play-Doh candy cane um, at, where did I find this? I believe I found this at Home Goods. I paid $5.99 for this, and it comes with, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It comes with 10 colors, and um, you could either, I mean, it even says right on it, great for stocking stuffers. You could either take this out of the candy cane if you, you know, want to break them up amongst multiple children. Um, if you're really into keeping the candy cane shape, since that was kind of what attracted me to buying this, I suppose you could just put this on the top of the stocking and let it hang out. But either way, I think Play-Doh is definitely something that gets used. It's creative, it's sensory, it's a great toy, um, and is something that I think kids really enjoy. So I always, every single year, I put Play-Doh in my kids' stockings. I also love pieces that you can purchase and break up. So I have a couple of examples here just to show you what I'm talking about. This year um, I grabbed this Fisher Price set of Toy Story and it comes with seven people from the Toy Story uh, book. Book. 
It comes with seven people from the Toy Story movie and this is little people brand so this is great because it will work with all their other little people stuff i can break this up and i can put them a couple each in their different stockings i can even put one in my stocking one in dad's stocking just to have fun with it but these are just little things that you could break up a set and a little bit uh you know ends up going a long way because you're able to break it up this is just another example if your child is more into like sesame street i found this one on Amazon. I think I paid $5.99 for this. It comes with a set of five. It says collector pack. I don't know what that means, but this is by Play School. And as you can see, it has some of the main Sesame Street characters on it. So I just think things like this are great. And these do get used around our house. They like to bring things like this in the car to play with it when we're on the go. They're easy things for me to keep in my purse so that if we end up being out somewhere or we're out at a restaurant or something like that, I can pull some of these out and let them play with them while we're on the go. If you have a toddler that's a little bit older, you can also find like small toys like this that you could put into their stocking. I found this one at Marshall's for $4.99. This is just like a little carrying case. It has a Toy Story coloring book in it and then it has um, some markers in the back. I honestly probably will not give this to my kids this year. Um, I don't think that they're quite ready for like straight up markers <laughs> um, because they've been known to draw on an ottoman or two. So this might be something I save for like Easter baskets in the spring when they're a little bit older, but I just thought this was unique and cute. So I had to grab it while I was at Marshall's because y'all know if you see something at Marshall's, you're probably not gonna find it again. So I picked that one up. And then I also picked up this. Um, this says right on it that it's the hottest toy of the year. I don't know what that really means or if it is, I don't know who made the decision that that's the hottest toy of the year, but this was $3.99 at Marshall's. It's um, considered a sensory fidget toy and you just can press these little buttons and then it pops in and out. Um, it's small, it's kind of cheap. I can even take it out of the packaging and this will fit in a stocking if I just roll it up and stick it inside. But I guess the idea is that you can just sit there playing with it for quite a long time. So I grabbed it. I mean, sensory toys I think are another great thing to put in stockings. Speaking of which, I got this 23 piece set, a fidget sensory set on Amazon. I'm definitely not gonna be using all of these things in their stocking this year because hello, I'm not trying to put 23 items in one stocking. Um, but I grabbed this because it was the best value and I am gonna like hold on to some of these things. Um, you know, these are things that you lose, they get lost. They're very cheap and you know, they need to be replaced from time to time. So I thought having this set of 23 would be a good thing to sort of have on hand as things need to be replaced throughout the year. But this particular set I'm actually pretty happy with. I'll leave a link below down in the description box if you wanna check it out. But it came with four of these in different colors. And I guess these are just little like, uh, uh, <laughs> they're little accordion style toys that you can play with. And I guess, again, sensory is the idea here. So not only does it stretch and it's interesting to touch, but it does make noise, which is kind of cool. It also came with um, these little squishy balls, which it came with one that's really big. And then it came with a little, two little guys that are more like this size. And, ooh, that looks so gross. There's like something inside of this one. Do you see that? Is it just me? It looks like a worm but it's not a worm, I promise. At least I don't think it is. Came with these, and I, again, these are really good sensory for like calming a toddler down. Toddlers have a lot of meltdowns and things like that, especially if you have a kid that's like very sensory oriented. I think these are really, really cool to have on hand. Kind of going along that same lines, it came with four shapes. Um, a circle, a square, a star, and it also came with a triangle, which you can sort of just like push on and move these beads. So I thought this was kind of cool. So it came with those. It came with a bunch of these little balls, which I will not be using these for Christmas, um, only because my younger son still tends to put things in his mouth. He's still like orally fixated in that regard. And I just, I don't want these in, floating around my house. Um, so I'll save these probably again till spring or till next year, but they do come in this kit. And then it came with, let's see, six of these like long stretchy, I don't know what you call this. What do you call this? Tell me below in the comments what you call this. But it came with six of these in different colors. So again, 23 pieces. I thought that it was 
a good price. I know the price changes constantly on Amazon, um, so you can check out how much it is right now. I'll leave the link in the description box below, but if you're looking for sensory, I felt like this was the best deal as far as just getting like small trinkety things. It's definitely cheaper than going to the dollar store and paying a dollar a piece. My next idea for stockings is things to use in the bathtub because bathtub toys are usually relatively small. I've done different things over the years. I've done bath, uh, bathtub shapes, letters. I've tried the crayons. I don't really recommend those because they will stay in your bathtub and then you end up having to clean it. Um, but this year I found these little finger bath puppets. They are Paw Patrol, which my son is really into lately. There's five of them. And again, I can break these up and put them into their stocking. So I grabbed these on Amazon and I'll link the link below to these as well. The next thing I found at Marshall's, and this is actually a baby toy, but I just thought he was so cute. Um, he's a little squishy woody. He's like a circle and he does make noise. And he was $4.99 and I just thought he was really cute. And again, this is something like if one child has the play-doh that's kind of sticking out of the top I could stick this on on the top of the other kids stocking and he could be like peeking out I could put this in I was thinking Theo stocking so check the baby section even if your baby your toddlers are not quite babies anymore still check the baby section at Marshall's TJ Maxx because you never know things get shifted and moved around all the time in those stores and something like this just so cuddly um, for them to sleep with at night or to bring along in the car when in doubt, you could always put candy in your kids' stockings. Um, these are Peppa Pig gummies. These were in the queue at Home Goods. They were $2.99. That you know, queue line always entices you to buy things. Um, my son really wanted these, so we grabbed them. I don't know if he's gonna like earn them prior to Christmas or if they will end up in his stocking. Um, but you could always put like small candy, vitamin gummies. Last year we had you know, the virus during Christmas season. So last year I did a, like a lot of um, Vicks Vapor Rub. I did toothbrushes. I did diaper cream balm. Like definitely check out my video from last year because I had a ton of ideas for you there too. And a lot of those things are things that I would definitely repeat again. Um, or if I feel like I go to stuff the stockings, you know, the night of Christmas Eve and I don't have quite enough, I'll run upstairs to my little like pantry area. I call it the bathroom pantry where I have a bunch of things stocked on hand and I could kind of like stuff those in their stockings just so it's a little bit full. And the very last thing that I always, always, always put in everybody's stocking is fruit. And normally I use uh, navel size oranges because they're bigger and they kind of fill out the toe pretty nicely. But these days we pretty much always have these little cuties or clementines on hand in our house. So they will definitely have a few of these in the bottom of their stocking as well. And it makes a nice snack on Christmas morning. So thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, go ahead and give me a thumbs up below. Don't forget to check out my video from last year because there are tons of ideas there as well. And I will have a few more holiday gift guides and stocking stuffer videos for you coming up this season. So be sure to hit the red subscribe button. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you being here. I hope that I gave you some ideas for your holiday season this year. And while you're here, go ahead and click this video here and this video here for a ton of other ideas for toys and stocking stuffers. Thank you so much for being here. I'm wishing you a very happy holiday season. Bye friends.